Hello and welcome to Adventures in TV Land. For today's adventure, we're visiting the National World War II Museum in New Orleans. And unlike most of my videos, this one, I will not be appearing on camera. The National World War II Museum in New Orleans, Louisiana is a massive museum. Currently, it consists of five different buildings. I believe when I was there, they said there was a sixth building that they're in the process of, you know, opening up within the next about year and a half or so. Um, they have um, artifacts from throughout the duration of the war and before the war, very well documented. Uh, this whole building exhibit here is about Arsenal democracy, so it's about the war on the home front building up to the war, um, some you know weapons that were brought back, different things like that. Here is an actual Enigma machine that was used to break the code. And here is a Rupert doll. Um, during the Normandy invasion before it happened, hundreds of fake parachutists were dropped in different places in Europe to throw the try to throw the Germans off, and they were called Ruperts. Now here we have a box of condoms. These were not these were given to soldiers, and they weren't used to what you think they were normally used for. They were actually often used to cover the barrels of weapons so they wouldn't get dirt and sand in them. Now here is a photograph, actually it's a series of photographs showing the beach of Normandy right before the landing there. This photograph was left in the boat after they, they landed and after the attack, the 17 year old went back and got the, the photograph. Here are some artifacts from the Navy, I'm trying to get people on the list in the Navy. And the, here's another exhibit showing about uh, Hollywood and how they, Hollywood got beh behind the war effort and beforehand. This exhibit here, I'm going to show part of this, but uh, we go in and it actually has a, a house set up the way a house would have looked roughly at around 1941. This is the kitchen area and then goes into the living room later. These drawers you open up, there are several items there from the time period. Now there is another exhibit here about the internment camps for Japanese Americans, specifically on the west coast. So after Pearl Harbor was bombed, a bunch of Japanese Americans were rounded up and basically they weren't quite concentration camps, but they were just a step above that. There's actually a factory exhibit set up to show how Americans, the American, the factories in the United States were transformed into productions, you know, of, of peace into factories of war. Here's a sign. This is we found over the places where they were making the atomic bomb. We weren't supposed to talk about it. All these planes, all these boats, these are actual artifacts from the, the war, the actual pieces themselves. Here's an exhibit set up like a submarine, sort of. It's because we're in the Navy section. Some Navy uniforms there. That was really cool because they have different settings. So there was the war in Asia, there was the war in Europe. They have the different environments set up, so like, it looks like, you know, the jungle environment in Asia. There's another section that kind of looked like the desert area, and like Africa. There's, later on, you will see, there's a spot where it was set up like the Western Europe during the, the winter. It's all these trees and all the snow all around. I will say some of my favorite parts were the the vehicles, the, the planes, the, the jeeps, the few uh, sea vessels that are on display here. Mm -hmm. 
in game against Japan. They went into detail about the operation, what it would take to actually conquer Japan. Now here are two melted glass bottles from Nagasaki. Now we're on the, the war on the Western Front, so they have the, the leaders of the, the war in Europe. The amount of items is so impressive. Here is an actual, from a chaplain's, there was a chaplain's suitcase. And so much information, so many things to see. I would love to return to the National World War II Museum and check it out again. Here is a Congressional Medal of Honor. I do not, I do not write it down who this belonged to. There is so much to see. You could really, honestly, you could spend about two to three days going through the museum because there are so many artifacts, there are so many displays, um, there, there's a couple of movies you can watch. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. It is definitely a must-see. One cannot go to war and come back normal. Richard Pollock's Infantry. Mail column is a display about the U.S. postal system. Now here is the room, the the building. They have all these different planes and other vehicles. Uh, there's it goes up like four or five levels, and you can go up each one of those levels to, to get a better view of these these air transport air fighter vehicles. I think, like I said earlier. This was probably my favorite part of the museum, seeing these things. Here we have a statue of Anne Frank. Hope you've enjoyed this adventure in TV land. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you disliked, hit the dislike button. Subscribe to my channel. And until next time, that's a wrap.